Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to Be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. For today, I have a video for you guys that is long overdue. You guys requested this video back in the day when I did my Louis Vuitton collection. I asked you if you wanted to see my entire purse collection and a lot of you said yes. So for today, that's exactly what I have for you, my purse collection. I'm also gonna share with you guys how I like to organize my handbags. So I'll stick in a couple of organizational tips in there as well. I'm not gonna show you my Louis Vuittons because I have a full video dedicated to those bags, which I will link to down below in the description box. But I will show you the new additions to my Louis Vuitton collection that were not in that video. So make sure to check that one out. So we better get started because I have a ton of purses to share with you guys. So before we get started with the purse collection, I wanted to share with you guys how I organize my handbags. This is a closet that is in my makeup room where you guys see me film all the time. And this is pretty much where I have my winter clothes on this side because that would just take up too much space in my regular closet. And then here's also where I have my handbags. I do have some travel items. I have some of my sneakers. I have a lot of the van sneakers, so I have those in this closet. And just a couple other things that I have organized in this room. So I just wanted to show you quickly. Like here you see at the bottom, I have a lot of like little makeup cases. I have some bags, two bags there that are folded. One is from H&M, one is from Forever 21. You know, I have like the two pillows that you put around your neck for when you travel. I have a little Betty Boop hat that I got at Universal Studios. It has like Betty Boop. Here inside these boxes, I pretty much just have a lot of um, little travel cases, my Ipsy bags, just like small little makeup bags I have there. These are the two Sophia Joy bags that I bought at Target. I actually think there's a third one inside. And then here's where I start with the purses. I have a ton of clutches. These I don't really show you throughout the video. These I do have, you know, they're kind of open here so I can see them. I just have them in a bunch of different colors. I also have these right here. This is in the beige. It's the same bag in the blue and in sort of a kind of like a dark blackish gray color. And I have this one as well. This blue one I love. It's like a clutch bag. I also have it in black. These are more brighter clutches, which will be really beautiful for the summer. This is a J. Crew small bucket bag. I love this one. It has a crossbody strap, but it's very cute and small. This is um, a long champ bag that I have folded. This is a little jewelry box for travel. Some of my camera gear is up there. So that is what I have in this little corner. And then yeah, pretty much the purse stuff is right here. And these are just the clutches. These I do have open so that I can kind of see them. You know, they're cute, they're adorable to use. So I don't really think you have to spend so much money on clutches because you can get really nice ones that are very stylish. If I were to buy something that's very expensive as a clutch, I would try to go for something a little bit more classic that'll last forever. But the more expensive handbags I have right here, and these I do carry in their dust bags. Like this is pretty much all the handbags that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. So there I have my Carolina Herrera bags. Here I have the Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Here I have Foli Foli. These are the Joe Mr. Joe, which I'll show you. Purificacion Garcia's in the black. Over here I have a lot of toast bags. And then at the bottom I try to organize by brand, but sometimes I'm limited with the space for the size. So at the bottom I do have a couple of mixed mixed brands just because they're taller and that bottom column you know fits taller bags some Louis Vuitton bags in that box those are the ones that are more foldable or smaller Louis Vuitton items those I also showed in my Louis Vuitton collection video here I have some more colorful clutches and like magazine bags like the magazine purses I'll show you those a little bit later in the video here I also have some more handbags this is Gloria Artis, the Henry Bendel, which I'll show you. These two are Purificacion Garcia. And then here are the more fancier clutches for like the evening. Those I have folded in here and those you will be seeing in the video. In the drawers, I also kind of, just to show you a little bit about how I organize in this drawer, I kind of have like some, some wallets and just some smaller items like these little bags I keep here. You know, they're just kind of like 
cute little clutches, but they're smaller. So these I do keep in the drawer and some wallets. And then what I have in this other drawer are pretty much my sunglasses. I keep them here. So this is pretty much what I have in this um, closet. So this is more like my, just the little extra accessories are in this closet. Then to my right, I have some of my Panamanian hats right there. And I have a couple of other shoe boxes here that I don't really use all that much. I might be getting rid of those shoes, but I do have my little Panama hats. So yeah, so this is the closet where I store my handbags. You know, the handbags take up a lot of space. Like I said, the fancier bags, I like to keep in the dust bags just because they stay nice and protected. Yes, it would look a lot prettier if they were not in the dust bags, but I worry more about just having them be nice and safe and not get any dust on them, and I just prefer to really take good care of them. Whereas here, these are less expensive bags, so I like to keep those out there. So not only do they look pretty there, but there are also so many of them and they're so small that if I had them in the dust bags, they would you know, just look a lot more sloppy and I would have to open each and every single one of them to know what bag it is that I'm trying to find. And now it's time to get started with a purse collection. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do this by brand and I've kind of laid them out on my desk. I took advantage of this because I'm organizing my closet and I just thought it'd be the best time to film this video. So these are my Carolina Herrera bags. I fell in love with this brand not too long ago, maybe like for the past like four to five years is when I started buying these. My very first one was this one. And let me put it up here for a second. That is called the Andy 10 bag. These are actually all these speedy type bags are called the Andy. And this is the 10. The way you know what number they are is because you count the CHs across and this, this one has 10 across. And then the nude one and the black one are the Andy 8. These are exactly the same. They just, that's a nude one. I've never ever used this one yet. This one is like brand new. The black one I have used. And then my latest purchase is this one in this green color, which is the Andy 7. This one I just bought in my last trip to Spain. This one, as you can see, has a seven across. I actually had this one in black. The Andy 7, it was a little bit of a different print. It kind of had the scattered CHs. I probably have showed it in a video or two. Um, I just gave it to my sister. She was just over right now. And she saw me taking out all the bags and she's like, give me one. So I gave her that one. This one is also very new. It is kind of, um, Basically, it's a crossbody bag. This is pretty much the print that I was talking about that I had this one in the black. See how the CHs are kind of scattered in random places? This one is really cool. It has pretty much two zippers. Each zipper opens up, it's kind of like a flap. You see how it opens up like this. You can also flip it over and wear it like this so that the bag is suede, or you can wear it like this. But it's really cute. Very, very comfortable. And then the last one that I purchased is this purple clutch bag. It has the, you know, these little black leather pulls for the zipper. And then inside, it also has a cross body strap, which I love. I love that you can wear it as a clutch and that you can also wear it cross body. Just took out the cross body strap. It is also purple, just like the bag. Also, something that is important to mention that I love about these Andy bags is that you can buy this cross body strap separately and this strap can fit on all these bags. So I like it that it's very versatile. I wish, I really do wish that it was kind of like the Speedy Bandolier from Louis Vuitton where you have the hooks on the side. This, it is a little weird when you carry it, you know, having one on one corner here and then the other strap on the other corner. It doesn't stay completely, you know, centered. That kind of annoys me a little bit, but you know, this strap, you buy it separately and it does give you a little bit more of a variety of the ways that you can carry these bags. So pretty much, I just have two of these for all the bags and I can use them for all of them because it matches perfectly. The leather matches perfectly 
with all of them. So that I really, really do love. And I love these bright colors, the purple and the green. I just think they're really, really pretty. So yes, loving these Carolina Herrera bags. I think it's a great brand. I always bought these when I'm out of town. Usually when I'm in Spain, I've never bought one in the US. They're so much cheaper in Europe than they are here. I've been to the store here and you save so much money. It's probably about 30 to 40% more expensive here in the States. This next bunch is from the brand Toast. That is another brand that I really, really love. The thing with these is that I can't even tell you what the model is. You know, these come out in certain seasons. The prints always change. You know, there's not really a purse. Actually, this one is one that is more of a classic one that I've seen, you know, in other colors, the same models, you know, just the same model, just in different colors depending on the season. But I've always really loved these bags. They're extremely comfortable. I think the majority of these are crossbody. So let me just go showing them to you one by one. This one is really, really big. This is what it looks like. It's just a really big bag. I really use this up a lot. It does look a little bit beat up because I used it, but this bag would be awesome for traveling because you can really put a lot in there. It just fits a lot. It kind of reminds me of the shape of the Louis Vuitton Alma bag. I just, you know, it's just a big, it's a black bag. It's convenient. It's good. You know, it's just like a good comfy leather bag next one is this one and this is one that i think it was like the first speedy type looking doctor bag that had a crossbody and i just thought it was so comfortable ever since i used this bag everything i've ever wanted has been crossbody so this is kind of the one who took me to the crossbody side just because it was so convenient very comfortable you can see the little dots i don't know if you can tell it kind of makes the little teddy bears you see how you see the toast teddy bears in there this teddy bear is upside down this one's right side up here's another one this is really big as well it is a crossbody again very comfortable but it is a big bag it's not one that i take everywhere again this one i have it super stained here from the wear that i gave it because i did wear it a lot but i just like it because i really liked that black and white print here's another one again this also is a crossbody this one and the last one i showed you they're pretty sporty bags i just thought it was pretty it fits a lot you know it's like a thicker not such a flat bag as this one that i just showed you but very cute look at the other side with the pink and the baby blue and the light that's like a light little mint green color this camel color one i've really loved i feel like this one is a very kind of like a serious classic bag this would be a great bag to wear to work it's also a bag that it almost looks like a little bit of a briefcase it has a lot of pockets it has one in the front one in the back and then it has the middle compartment in the middle with a zipper i just really really liked it i think this is one of those models that i mentioned earlier is a classic model that they carry and i believe that what varies is the colors by seasons and i'm so happy that i was able to get the camel one because it was so pretty this one right here is my latest purchase again it also has a crossbody i feel like this is another bag that's perfect for traveling but also for using while you're on the trip when I mean traveling I don't mean you know when you're on the flight going and coming back I mean like when you're on the trip sightseeing you can put on this bag it's very comfortable you can wear a crossbody you know it's a nice bag but it's not too fancy of a bag like a Louis Vuitton that maybe I'd be hesitant to take on a trip this one is just something you know it's black it's a pretty good size look how wide it is so you can really fit a lot of stuff like you can put like your camera in here even if you have like a nice big camera with the lenses you can definitely fit all that in here and be very comfortable but also of course it's also a excellent everyday bag i love this leather print where you kind of just feel the teddy bears i also have the same print in the smaller bag it's a really small size excellent for going out at night i love it because it's a decent size for the nighttime where you can take your phone some makeup your wallet you know it's not like a teeny tiny bag where you really can't fit much um i'm really liking this one as well and then i actually bought this one last year 
Here's another one, more casual type of crossbody. This is also a more newer bag. I bought, I just bought this one now that I went to Spain. Again, like the Carolina Herrera bags, these Toast ones are much less expensive in Spain. With, even with the exchange rate of the Euro to the dollar, it's still so much worth it to buying it over there instead of buying them here in the United States. So I like it, I like the blue. I just like, I just thought it was very, very different. And again, it's crossbody. It's a wide bag, so you can fit a lot in there. It's not like a teeny tiny bag where nothing fits. Here are two of the more fancier clutches. These are definitely for the nighttime. You know, these are the bags that not all that much fits, but it is more like a bag to go out where you just kind of put your money, your credit cards, maybe a lipstick, your phone, your car keys, and that's it. Cause they're pretty flat. This one is navy blue. It has the studs, two zippers. So you can put a little bit of something in one zipper and a little bit in the other. But like I said, I mean, it is a flat bag. It's not like you can fit in like your sunglasses case in there or anything like that. But that's why it's something that I would really only use in the nighttime. Um, blue with the gold studs, which I love. Love the look. The crossbody is very comfortable and it's a long one, so it falls really nicely where it's supposed to fall. And then this is the black one. Also, it has some gold studs. I love it. This is the one that is actually my favorite of the more flat ones and it has the gold chain. Honestly, the leather straps are more comfortable than the gold chains but um, I just really love them both. I think they're both very pretty um, nighttime bags. What I like about the black one is that you can take out the gold chain and just use it kind of like as a handheld clutch. For the blue one, you can't. You really can't take out the straps. You just have to use it as a crossbody. I honestly always use them as a crossbody because if you go out and you're dancing or you're at a bar or something, you don't have to worry about holding your purse. It's just hanging on you. So I think that's always been very comfortable. And the last three I have right here, these I called my Disney World bags because these are really beat up. Also from Toast, even more sporty than the ones I showed you before. Just extremely, extremely comfortable. This one is my favorite because it fills a lot. It fits a lot, I mean. I mean, here is a typical bag that you can put your wallet, your big fat sunglasses, your camera. And it's one that I love to take when I go to Disney World. So that's why I call them my Disney World bags. Same with this one. It's kind of like a nice, you know, I guess, I don't know what this material is, but if it gets wet, you just dry it up. Especially these two, the blue and the black. If it gets wet, you just dry it up and that's it. It's no problem. It's not gonna stain it because it's it's meant to be like that. It's not like a leather, a fancy leather. These are just very sporty. This one is more of a canvas leather, but again, it's still a very daytime bag, very sporty. This is a print that came out a while back. The last item I also have from Toast is the luggage. This is pretty much a carry-on. It has the zipper here where you can take out the carry-on um, pull thingy for the airports. Very convenient, I like it because it's a really good size to carry on for the flight that you can put in the overhead compartment. I also really like that it has a zipper here and another one here. And when you open it, it's just very, very spacious in there. And then it has another little pocket here on the inside. And then it has another little area here where you could also put, you know, some stuff. But it's just, you know, really cute and pretty. And it just seems like a very comfortable bag. These next two are from the brand Foley Foley. That is another brand that I really love. I also love it because it's very unique. This size and model of bag is my go-to type of bag because a lot of them are like that. Love this pocket. You can put your phone in there. And this one again, crossbody, very convenient. Love it when bags have a little pocket in the front. So I don't know. I just really, really love it. And check out that brand because it's very, very pretty. These next three are from the brand Joe Mr. Joe. This is a very unique brand as well. I've never seen it in the States actually. I've seen it held in El Corte Inglés where I usually buy a lot of the things that I bring back when I go to Spain. These reminded me a lot of those Cambridge and Satchel bags, except the Cambridge and Satchel bags were extremely expensive. And I remember I saw these in Spain and I just had to have them. These two here, the silver and the black, are the same size. Love the black. It has these studs, which I thought were really cool. Only thing is that one of the studs here broke right there. It's missing the stud that it was supposed to have like on that side. But they're just really cool and different. You know, they fit nicely crossbody. Let me open one for you 
so you see kind of how it is in the inside it just basically has one big pocket and then it has a little pocket here in the front um, you can pretty much just put like a flat cell phone in there. These next three bags are from the brand Purificación Garcia. And again, these are also some that I always buy when I go to Spain. Pretty much all these bags that I tell you guys that I buy in Spain, I buy them at El Corte Inglés, which I think is like the best store in the whole wide world. They just have such nice and unique brands. Purificación Garcia, I have seen here in the States. I know that they have them. For example, in Miami, they have them at Merrick Park. But I definitely would not buy anything from there here because it's probably a lot more expensive than it is over there. This is a Spanish brand. It's a Spanish designer. And these are pretty much the three that I have. What annoys me about this brand is, number one, that this crossbody, it's not really crossbody. It's more shoulder. It's too short for me to wear crossbody. I mean, I have it here. Obviously, I could add some holds, some of the bags that I showed you. For example, the Carolina Herrera one, I've actually, you know, taken it to a place where they add the holes and it comes out perfect, but these just really don't have that much space. This is a teeny tiny bag, like probably for going out at night. It's super cute. It's like a cool gold color. You know, you can either wear it on the shoulder. I mean, not wear it on, you can actually handheld it, hand hold it, I can't even speak, or you can wear it over the shoulder. As you can see, see the strap is not really you know that long um, but it looks really cute over the shoulder and then this one is the quilted Chanel style type of bag and it has you know the gold chain next bag is from the brand Henry Bendel I love this blue color I love it because Henry Bendel bags you know they have nice sales a lot of the time this one my brother bought for me for my birthday and we actually got it together on sale like I mean I went shopping with him and he let me pick it out and it was on sale and I loved it I love it because it fits a lot in there has a pocket in the front which is like so nice and it also you can wear it with the strap which is a very comfortable strap it does you know become a crossbody or you can hold it you know handheld like this and I also have these bags these I've had forever this is a juicy couture also a crossbody bag I don't even remember when this style came out back in the day so old I have three of these magazine clutch bags this is the very first one I had and whenever I wear this everybody thinks that it's like so awesome because it looks like if you're carrying a magazine and then I bought this one online a long time ago um, I forgot when I bought it but it's really old I mean I must have gotten it more than like 15 years ago and then these two are a little bit more new now that they're a little bit more readily available than they were back in the day I have this like envelope style purse in this silver color I used to use this all the time non-stop and then just some little ones that I just always keep because you never know when you're gonna wear them maybe for something a little bit more fancy this is what this one looks like. I also have some evening night clutches like this one. Then I have this black one, which looks like this. This one used to be one of my favorite clutches. This one I bought at Aldo. I remember exactly because I saw it. Um, someone had it at a wedding and I loved it and she told me she bought it at Aldo and I found this. I've had this bag, I think since like 2002 or 2003. And then this one, I remember that I had to buy for a wedding. Also, it's probably like more than 15 years old. I think my dress was like a lavender color. And I thought that this was cute and it added a nice little touch to the dress. So these are just some that you keep. I don't really wear them all that much, but you never know when they're gonna come in handy. The ones that I love the most are definitely my magazine purses. The little bags I put in these container store, I think those are like the boot boxes or, you know, they're, they're readily available at the container store. And here is where I put the more smaller bags. So they're just, you know, I don't use these all that much. They're in there, they're nice and protected. They're organized. These next two are from the brand Gloria Ortiz. This is another brand that I always buy at El Corte Inglés. I like it because it's a brand, you know, again, it's something different. This is what the bag looks like. This just kind of has a big pocket. You know, I like it because it kind of gives it that Chanel feel type of bag. Then I have this little one. This is very cute for going out. It has a double zippers, two little compartments and one in the middle. This is really cute, but this bag has given me a lot of issues 
with a zipper. It's a really annoying zipper. As for the latest additions to my Louis Vuitton collection, I have these three bags. And yes, they are pretty much the same model. This is my favorite model ever of Louis Vuitton and any bag. I've always been a huge fan of the Speedies. And now that the Speedies come with the strap, that it's a Speedy bandolier that you can wear crossbody, it's like, for me, it's amazing. I think it is the comfiest bag ever. These are all the Speedy 30. This is the Speedy 30 in the Damier Azure. This is also the Speedy 30 in the Monogram Emprunt. And then this is the Speedy 30 in the Damier Eben, which I have been wanting forever and I finally got it. Right now, the one I'm currently using is this one, just because since it's a summer, I'm gonna save this one to use in the fall. But yeah, this these to me are like my favorite models of purses and they're also the comfiest. I have to say though that my favorite Louis Vuitton of all that I have is this one. This is like the one that I have always wanted and I was able to get it earlier this year. I've been using it nonstop. I just put it away to give it a little bit of rest and now I'm starting to use this one. I really just used it for the past like two days. But this one, I would have to say this is my all time favorite Louis Vuitton that I own and I think it's like my all time favorite handbag that I own. I think this is like my number one bag. So yeah, so I just put it away for a little bit but these are the three new additions to my Louis Vuitton collection. Don't forget, I'm gonna link my Louis Vuitton collection video down below. I did that one a while back and it was a really fun video to film. And a lot of you guys liked that video and you asked for the purse collection video as well. So that is kind of why I'm doing that one today. So it's a little bit long overdue, but at least here it is. In case you're wondering, I have the straps inside these two bags. I didn't like to leave them, like I don't like to leave the straps on as you know, they're stored away. I keep them inside the purse. The only one that the strap is actually, you know, attached to the purse is the one that I'm currently using. So that's where the straps are at. I love how in these bags, the straps are on the side because they hang real nice and real comfortable. Whereas in the Carolina Herrera bags, the straps hang one from one side of the handle and then one from the opposite side of the other side of the handle. So. Honestly, it's so much better when they hang on the sides like the Louis Vuitton. I think I mentioned that earlier when I shared with you guys my Carolina Herrera purses. So that's pretty much it. This was my entire purse and handbag collection. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite go-to handbag. I will try my hardest to list as many bags as I can in the description box down below. Some of them I know the name and the style, others I don't really remember the name or style all that much. Some of them may even be seasonal styles that are no longer available, but I will do my best to list as many as I can down below. If you had a lot of fun watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I wanna say thank you, thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.